Hi, so today we are going to discuss about a faulty PC monitor and today I am in my lab and what I am going to diagnose here I got uh, two patient monitor from a hospital and for both hospitals uh, both monitors are five para monitor and both are uh, hospital is using both monitor in their ICU so what is the fault actually like you can see here my patient monitor I switch on the monitor and after switching on you can see there is no display coming everything is working fine alarm is going for uh, switching on of the monitor and after that you can see light is blinking but what is the problem actually in this monitor is that you can see after clicking the NIBP you can hear the sound of the BP also yeah BP is running it means monitor is actually running but the display is not working so here you can see easily you can find out your display has been gone now you have what you have to do now according to your normal engineers what you have to do you have to find out the serial number of the display like I have lot of displays are here like this is the display in the this is the front side every display has some serial number and the company name on the back side like this is also a 12 inch display this is also a 12 inch display so in all displays you can find out here the company name you can see Torison TFT LCM that is the company name and here you can see the model is TM112 SV so this is the model for this display and again in the another display you can see here the same model Torison and I have one more display here and in this display you can find out here yeah yeah this is the another display you can see here and after uh, taking some focus this is the manufacturing made in Taiwan and uh, here actually the logo has been removed by me here you can find the logo and this is the dis another display with another quality so what you have to do you have to find out that uh, display made and model and search on your google and you can find the similar display from the china or available in your country and also you can find out the local distributor of displays led display tft displays and this is basically a tft display and uh, not a led display so this is a transistor based display and uh, after that after finding the similar product only you have to find the similar model not any compatible so you have to find out the same model for the display and after that you can replace the display so here you can see easily you have uh, you find it out the display is faulty but here you are in my class and I am your trainer I can tell you some more important point regarding the display only without opening this monitor you can say the display is faulted but no in both monitors I found it the same fault this monitor also has same fault and this is also have monitor is switch on that is working properly BPs and SPO2 Pro everything is working properly but no display black display is coming so what you have to find the next step first of all open your patient monitor after opening your patient monitor like that I have already opened this monitor and <coughs> after opening this monitor you can find out this is the button chip all the button signals on and off signals should be operated from uh, this chip there is a display you can find out the display with the attach metallic card and on the, in the behind of that metallic portion you can find uh, the motherboard and the main controller of operating system and uh, here you can see the this is basically a power supply where power supply red and black wire is coming input and you can see multiple outputs are going out from this board and you can see here another card here which is below of this master card and uh, this is basically 
is your display processing card plus parameter card and here you can see the parameter card is in the back side of this motherboard and after that you can see here are some uh, this is another card you can see here which is battery operated card one is battery in the back side of uh, that metallic portion and all these wires are here all characters male female points and this is the input port and after that you can see uh, this is our today class is for uh, display for uh, finding faults uh, in this monitor you can see this this is a very small card you can find this card in every kind of monitor available in your market what is that card actually that card is a voltage converter card and uh, it can provide a high voltage to the display and uh, by which display can get illumination means there is a LED strip inside your TFT display which uh, which help to the display to provide illumination light inside it by which you can your eyes can visible all data very easily so that is the voltage converter and HD card you can see and uh, <coughs> here is your main card and a ribbon cable here a ribbon connector is going uh, to your display like that here the display is attached with this ribbon card number of times you can find out this cable has been get damaged by checking the continuity one by one of each pin from one from this side and one from this side you can find out the cable is working or not or from the other monitor you can uh, cross check this wire also so number of times it get faulted and another uh, fault you can find out that uh, whether uh, you have to remove this uh, lamp wire from this uh, from this uh, main control uh, HT card voltage converter card and by removing this connector like that there are two pins one is this another is this you have to take your multimeter set on the DC voltage take your plus and minus on both side black and red wire on each side after checking on DC voltage up to 20 volt you will definitely found uh, some different kind of voltage according to your monitor uh, TFT